Hey guys, NBA Talk, last um, game of the night. But by the time this is uploaded, this is probably... It's gonna, probably going to be the next day in the morning. So, uh, if you see it, you see it. Uh, so, I was looking at the Golden State Warriors versus the Houston Rockets at Golden State. This game had me puzzled. The ending is not a surprise, but... But like throughout the middle of the game, had me really puzzled in a way I don't understand. This is no insult. I hope this uh, truly offends the the fan base of the Houston Rockets or the Houston Rockets themselves. I don't want to truly um truly offend them, but I have to state the facts. Of all the teams, well, what of all the some of the teams in the league, the Houston Rockets put up much more of a battle with Houston, um, with the Warriors, that pretty much every more than anyone else in the league, except for the um, Oklahoma City Thunder, they went toe to at one point went toe to toe with this team and out outdid them. One of the worst defensive teams in the league right now. And it is legit fact. They are one of the worst defensive teams in the league. All of a sudden. Were actually at one point. Out doing the Houston, um, the Oklahoma, um, the Golden State Warriors at their home. Undefeated at home. I'm like this. How... Is this team doing this? Or uh, was the Golden State Warriors just being lazy? Because I know they could not be that lazy. Because they started off big time. They scored 42 on the Houston Rockets. It was thinking like this is probably going to be the same other game where they just blow out every other team. No, no, that was not the case. The very next quarter, the second quarter, they start hammering uh, the Golden State Warriors. And then in the third quarter, they do the same thing again. And I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second. Could this happen? Could the Houston Rockets beat the Golden State Warriors? Because they could have upset them um, back in the conference finals last season. Um, They could have been on the verge of beating them, but they didn't. I'm like this, like, are the Houston Rockets their Achilles heel? Are they their uh, kryptonite? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. There is no way. But, of course, in the fourth quarter, I, I was proven right that there was no way that this is going to happen. So, the Houston, uh, Golden State Warriors just turn up the heat and they just obliterate them after that. So... Going to state one, just to let you know, 123 to 110 Houston Rockets. But dang, if the Cleveland Cavaliers cannot uh, challenge them like the Houston Rockets, if the San Antonio Spurs cannot challenge the Golden State Warriors like the Houston Rockets, if the Oklahoma City Thunder can't challenge the Golden State Warriors like they did with, like Houston just did, this, then this is some messed up league. They just one messed up league. I don't get it. What is it about the Houston Rockets? Uh, was the, Did they just step up tonight? I don't know. So let me look at the Houston Rockets. 37 points for James Harden. He had a great night. He didn't he didn't do um pretty much he didn't do any more mistakes. He actually did great things in this game. He played very good defense. Um, let's see. Uh, he he held Clay Thompson bad. Um, you have Dwight Howard giving you 16 points, five, 15 rebounds, uh, block shot. You have Trevor Reza showing up, 19 points, 7 rebounds. Uh, Corey Brewer gave you something from defensive end. He only ended up with 9 points, though. Uh, Patrick Beverly, uh, 
seven point seven assists. Uh, didn't do too much against Steph Curry and Petra Betty is supposed to be a defensive guy. He's a pest. Um, the only person off the bench that actually did something with the Houston Rockets was um, Marcus Thorne. And he had 15. Everyone else just sucked. But defensive-wise, they, they did something in the bench. Um, let's look at the Golden State Warriors. You had Harrison Barnes giving you 19 points, 7 rebounds. Uh, Draymond Green, this is probably one of his worser games of the season. Probably the worst game of of the season that he's had. Eight points, five assists, and nine rebounds. He did good defensively. That has to count for something. Um, Bogut off started off good, and he ended up good. Thirteen points, eleven rebounds, six uh. Six uh, block shots. Block shots. So pretty much this is the best I've seen him all year round. He got off. Uh, Clay Thompson was held down big time. Of all people, one of the worst defensive players in the league. He improved well last year and then decided to drop down again. James Harden held down James uh, Clay Thompson. That is a shock. That is a shocker, truly. He, uh, Clay Thompson didn't make a single three-point shot. Um, in fact, um, the Golden State Warriors shot only thirty-five percent from the three-point range. Um, you have uh, Steph Curry going off, of course, uh, thirty-five points and nine assists. Pretty much, he showed up when one splash butter is down. The, uh, the other Splash Brother will step up. It's vice versa. It, it's either Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, or both of them. It, it, both of them going to get shut down. Um, uh, Andre Iguodala showed up with 12.6 rebounds, 6 assists. Good rounds from him. And Space uh, had 15 down there too as well. So pretty much good from uh, off the bench. So that's pretty much it for tonight. Um, Houston Rockets has done the most damage I've ever seen a team do to the Golden State Warriors this season. That is wow, crazy, surprising, happy for the Houston Rockets showing up. And very sad, not for the Golden State Warriors in particular, the whole league. How is the Cleveland Cavaliers, San Antonio Spurs... And in a sort of way, um, Oklahoma City Thunder can't handle or a manhandle the Golden State Warriors like the Houston Rockets did, which is crazy. They actually did very, very good against the Golden State Warriors. That is a shocker to me. So that's it for me. Um... Golden State wins again. They go undefeated. They are undefeated at home. 42 straight. That the streak continue. And we were heading towards uh, All-Star break. So I'll see you guys later. That's it for, guys, for me. Peace out.